What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite coach, Coach Brenner, back with another reaction video. Um, like I said in the last videos, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share these videos. Um, you can share them on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, text message. I don't care where. Twitter, just share them. Um, also, subscribe to the It's That Simple Real Talk podcast. Mark my words. May 18th, 2022. I'll be dropping the first video for that on the it's that simple youtube channel i also share it on the facebook page but make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel so you'll see it first then i'll drop it onto the facebook page the day after that so if you want to see it first make sure you subscribe there um but we're gonna get right to this video this one is about it says the guy eats 14 free samples of ice cream so that means he must have a lot of other cheap practices <laughs> My name is Roy Haynes, and I am an extreme cheapskate. I live in Vermont with my wife, Lisa. The frugal ways that Roy has have allowed us to focus our time and effort on saving stress. animals as opposed to having to go to a regular job every day, nine to five. Here they go. Go on, guys. I perceive myself as being very Roy resourceful. It's worked out well for us. I love Roy my resourceful. husband, Roy, but boy, is he a cheapskate. Here we are in my kitchen, basic oh, refrigerator. Show you one of the many ways that I save money. You'll notice the cherries have no stems on them. I pull them all off before I weigh them so I don't have to pay for the stems because you can't eat the stems. The stems weigh like two grams, maybe, like, Simple conversion for you guys. There are 28 grams in an ounce, 16 ounces in a pound. These are weighed by the pound, which means they don't even factor in the grams until you hit over that 28, so you get one for the ounces. You taking these stems off, literally is saving you like 26 cents on this bag of cherries. I understand over your lifetime, because you look to be about 45 Plus, which no disrespect, my parents are, you know, 50 and almost 50. So no disrespect, but you got to be 45 plus, which means you've been doing this 23 cents every time. You probably say about a good $110 over your whole adult life doing this. So it make no sense. And these are grapes, which I do the same thing for. I pull the little vines off. Save four or five cents each time. Four or five cents. Mm. Tastes delicious. Right, it's nice. What I'm doing here is taking a piece of banana. Most people don't know that it makes an excellent device for shining your shoes with. Is that a banana peel? My husband tries to stop me from spending. It's very annoying. This is my frozen assets. We have a credit card, but try not to abuse it. I freeze the credit card so that it's not easily accessible. So we're in 2022, so everybody has their mobile banking apps. So if you go into your app right now, let's say you lose your card in the house or your kid takes it, somebody steals it, ex-boyfriend, ex-wife, whatever. Steals your credit card, fraudulent charge comes up. You can freeze your credit card, which means nothing can happen. Nobody can use it. My guy Roy has taken this to the extreme. That does not mean you literally put your credit card in water, then put it in the freezer so no one can get access to it. You All you got to do is hit the little button, swipe over on the little tab. You're done. I'm not understanding how he even thought this was a good idea. You have to ruin the card putting it in water so many times. Like, or if you don't use your credit card at all, after so long, they close your account. So, no way, shape, or form is this smart. I mean, I guess if no one's getting to spend your money, but you can't even use the card if you need it at this point. You gotta wait 45 minutes for the thaw like some chicken when your mom on the way home. But, you need a pizza right now 
or you're gonna die from hypoglycemia or something. Not happening. And what I'm doing I'm is pouring out the ice. And it's a lot of effort, so in order for my wife to use it, she has to put some labor into it. These are my paper towels that have been used. Oh, no. And reused, and reused, and oh, reused. No. And are still quite functional, as you see. They save about $100 a year in paper towels alone. Coffee is very expensive. So instead of using it freely, I kind of That's reuse like it. This one's gotten 30 three or four cups out of it already. That's yeah, really But well. I'm still not done with we it yet. I have one more final use for it. What? Window cleaner costs probably around three dollars a spray bottle. Well, I don't purchase it; I make my own out of the coffee ground. I shake it up. Although it appears to be dirty, you will see how clean it can get a window. I'm saving an additional three dollars every month or so, which adds up to maybe forty, fifty dollars. Forty-six dollars. Let's say, let's say $46 with tax. $46 is what you are saving a year by not buying window cleaner. I understand you, let's say you don't want to buy it, buy the bottle. They sell it in concentrate, you can make your own. You can use vinegar, which my mom used to use it as when I was a kid and it works perfectly fine. But rather than doing that, you're going to empty out some coffee into a spray bottle. Spray coffee on your window. Y'all know, I know for me, when I was growing up, when adults would have what I call as coffee breath, it would literally turn my stomach. So I got to imagine your whole house smell like coffee. You're using that to clean the toilets, probably using that to clean the stove, clean the fridge out, coffee everywhere. I wouldn't be able to come over there. My stomach would be turning the whole time. His wife got to not be okay with this. Clear as daylight. Then it's squeaking. I mean, one of the ways that I save money in my bathroom my for about five to six cents, I take one of those bubbling antacid tablets and I just drop it in the bowl and voila, sparkling clean. Hey, that's actually smart. In the tank of the toilet, just insert a large stone or a brick, and it replaces a great deal of the water. It saves about $8 a month, $100 a year. I have probably a lifetime supply of dental floss, considering I reuse it. When I go to the How dentist, they just ask floor? for free samples, and they're happy to give it to you. So I'll use it once or twice, make sure there's nothing clinging on. When you floss, and this is for all the kids that are watching, you're supposed to get in between every two, get all the food out your gums, all about out between your teeth, right? So you telling me that this man gets all the food and plaque and everything out of his teeth, and then probably rinses it and hangs it up next to the paper towels? Like I might not even make it to the ice cream sample part because Roy, Roy is really disgusting me at this point. The brick in the toilet. Makes a lot of sense. I know people that put uh, two liter bottles full of water to display some of the water. But reusing dental floss, my guy? On, no. Hanging on my clothesline. I knew it. Ultimately, Roy's Roy, and Happy. he's not going to spend a lot of money, even if I'm there. At the Wait, ice cream ice shop, cream I was expecting maybe a Sunday or something like that. Yes, can I help you, folks? Hey, how are you? Hi. How about I try and see which ones I like? You have a little cup by any chance? Sure. Beautiful. We got chocolate, black raspberry. All right, I'll try some. Try what? The samples. One of each, maybe? Play One of each. Play it on a birthday cake? The big dis. My boy said, <laughs> he said, can I get a sample of every flavor of ice cream you have? He don't want to pay for no ice cream, which I understand they're free samples, but you're supposed to have like one 
maybe two if you're trying some different types. Let your wife try it a little bit. She want a Sunday. Sunday probably like three or four dollars. Instead of doing that, you're gonna try fourteen different flavors of ice cream. And she probably ain't gonna eat nothing. Look how embarrassed she looks. Let me go back. And then listen to the, the worker, the owner. He said, Sample of what? All of them? My boy was confused. We got chocolate, black raspberry. All right, I'll God. try some. Try what? Yeah. The samples. One of each, maybe? One of each? Play it on a birthday cake? It's a big decision, you know. Did you want to taste? No, she don't this want to This is a that. birthday cake. Oh, birthday, birthday cake. cake. Okay, up, what can I get you? Uh, what else you got? Another sample? Yeah. How do I know what I like unless I try them? Ma'am, are you with him? Yeah. I didn't feel too good that my He's husband gonna, was up there sampling, sampling, sampling. He looked really comfortable, and I was really uncomfortable. I see. Beautiful. Thank you very much. What are you getting? I got these. I'm full now. So what is what it going to be? What are you going to do? I'm a little full. Thanks a lot. Well, they didn't pay for nothing. You just ate 14 samples. I thought you were getting real ice cream. It is. But it's samples of ice cream that you just hogged. This is where I'm going to stop it because I don't want to see Amber Chamberlain talking about whatever she's talking about. But my boy Roy got a problem. And the dude at the ice cream shop was ready to fight with Roy. Uh, Roy, you got to go seek help or your wife going to leave you. How did my grandpa right. just buy a seven? Let me talking to my people. Your wife going to leave you, big dog. And... Really, I'm on board with that. Because you've lost your mind. But, that's where I'm ended. Like I said, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Show your friends, co-workers, kids, grandma, sisters, auntie, everybody. Just show everybody. The more people we get, like I said, the more I'm going to make them. Also, again, May 18th, the first session of the it's that simple real talk podcast will be dropping on the youtube channel make sure you subscribe over there so you can get it first if not it'll be on the facebook page the day after that so with that coach brenner i'm out